York subpar. You can see that the New York subpar are trying to get to this hill first, but no, they're just trying to uh, trying to trying to go for these spawns. But you see the kills just light up all in the favor for the New York subpar right now as a light of the kill feed starting to get some of this hard point time. So right now, Blepsy, the New York subpar are doing really good. New York doing great job right here, and they did start on the better side, so they're holding the spawns. Ooh. But you can see from the side of Paris, let down already rotating to P2. They got two players in the back. New York kind of getting their way through MB, and a huge kill by Mr. Anderson, making a two piece. Yeah, man, they are frying automatically, getting ready to rotate to this next hill. We got we got somebody on a five street before they went down. It's Mr. Anderson before he just went down, but P2 has jumped off. No team is half control. New York has finally put a foot on it. Battles are going back and forth. XRA just got blessed with a random explosion to send New York subpar back to their spines, trying to figure out how they're going to get back to this hill, Blepsy. And Goon, that's exactly what Paris needed in order to get back into this. Right now, they're just a couple points behind. They seem to be able to take the lead if they do a good hold on this P2. However, New York, not letting up, want the scrap time. And you can see the side of Paris already rotating to P3 now. Yeah, the gunny is definitely hot if you are a New York subpar. But look at that turn and burn by Evictions, the race to this P3 is on right now. Both teams are trying to fight for position. New York coming from the catwalk. Paris let down, trying to come from his ladder, but ASAP bringing it just too much as he gets a two, almost a three before he gets taken down by Invictus. By Invictus. But right now, Paris let, Paris let down to have control of the hill. Forcing these New York supporters to try to break in, but Killer goes is just too much as he breaks in by himself. Teammate Mr. Anderson there for the trade. New York subpar, full control of this hill. And a great start by Mr. Anderson. Already going nine and four. Seems to be leading the way for his team right now. New York are in control of this P3 hill. They're able to break it after a pair of down. We're able to get that early rotation on it. And you can see right now the side of New York just playing very well, very all together. The gun is very hot. It's just Ooh. a great job. Killer goes a huge still on curve right there. Yeah, man. I like the gunny. Like we said, it's hot for the New York South part. They're stretching their lead out. 70 to 20 is the score line. The rotation is on for this P4. It's being won right now by the Paris Letdowns. It's got to be a big kill by Paris Letdowns. If they want to get back in this game, but look at the kills going in the favor of the New York South Park. There's only two players left on this hill for the Paris Letdowns. And now there's only one. It's up to XR, XR8. It's to try to hold down this hill by himself, waiting for his teammates to spawn up. New York are taking their time, trying to team a group up, trying to come in from the side door, waiting for the teammates to get there. The, the reinforcements has arrived, and now it's an all-out battle for this back door that New York seems to win, Blepsy. Hey, you know what I noticed, doing is New York are playing very patient. Yes, they're in control, but they're not pushing. They're waiting for their team to gather, and then they're breaking into these hills, and they're doing a great job at it, getting two picks at a time. A lot of double kills also for like Brandon right now. And just a great job by New York just playing very patiently and very smart. Yeah, man. So they're they're stretching their lead out and get 105, 28 pairs letdowns. They gotta make sure they hold a strong foot. They're getting doing a great job of rotating to these hills, but they're not doing a great job of holding down. So it's P4, P5 is getting ready to jump off and new pairs letdowns. They started off with the opening kill on the ASAP ready. Can they find player two? They no killer ghost. He is just too much to handle, but he does get taken down by Infinsis. The first wave of New York subpar have came. They have got taken down. There's one last player, player three. He's doing big. He just got taken down, but there is more pressure from these New York subpar. But the first wave now from New York subpar have been defended well by the by, by the Paris letdowns. And New York still fighting for scrap. They seem to be in control of this last 30 seconds over Paris, not letting them get a lot of time on it. Uh, this was probably Paris's best hill so far, but they need to do better than that if they want to get back into this game. 
Yes, exactly. Do better. They got to start rotating. They got to start holding hills, winning these gunfights. The gunny is just so hot right now for the New York Sun Bar. But all you got to do is just group with the team, start getting into these power positions and taking off the New York Sun Bar. As the new set of rotations jump off, you see the battle for the spines is what New York wants before they even attempt to try to put a foot on the hill. But if you're a pair of letdowns, you want to get on the hill immediately. But New York's New York subpar are not letting that happen. New York are in control of those PC spawns, and they are also getting some time on that P1 hill. He does get shot down by IMTG, but Mr. Anderson just on fire right now. 18 and 6 from him. Killer Ghost 15 and 11. Sensei 12 and 11. And ASAP Brandon also doing bits. So just a great job from New York all around as a team. Yeah, man, they are doing what they need to do. Almost a hundred point lead. If they can hold on to this hill time, they would have made it. But there's a great, a temporary break right there for for the hill time. But the P2 is what is really important. You can see all those arrows on the mini map starting to sprint for this P2. No scrap time is won by neither team. P2 has jumped off. Battles are going back and forth. Kill feed is lighting up. White and yellow. Who's going to come out on top? New York subpar behind the gunny. Killer Ghost is going to come out on top of this P2, forcing Paris let down to try to spawn out from this tennis court side to, to run in, try to, try to sprint in to stop this beating for the New York subpar. But the gunny looks like it's just too much right now coming from New York subpar. Way too much. It's about 120 point lead for the side of New York. Uh, they need to fight for scraps at this point and they need to get early rotation, so they're in a very tough position. New York is very close to ending this game. And right now you can see the side of New York from Killa already rotating to P3. They know they don't need to work on the scraps, so they just got to move on, get the next hill. And right now this needs to be set up. Paris have to break this. Yeah, man, Killer Ghost just being an OG, you know, and the guy getting on the comms, telling his team to rotate. I got the rotation. He's there first, winning those rotational gun battles, which is always big. P4, P3 just jumped off. New York subpart. Shit, are in control. First, next player up is in because he's trying to slow down. He got to wait for his team. He's got to wait for his health to regen before he can even go for this child. Now he's going for it, but I think, oh, he takes down Sensei. That's good. That's all right. He takes out Brandon Curry. Herb takes out Killer, and that is the break that Paris letdowns needed. And it's not over for the side of Paris. I mean, they can definitely make the comeback right here, but they need to chain a couple of hills. They did a great job breaking this hill, and right now you can see them sort of setting up to 4p4 uh, while New York is kind of still fighting for those scraps. So this next p4 is definitely going to be an important hill for both teams. Yes, it is, but the scrap time right now, it seems like New York's up part was trying to get it, but... But Paris letdowns did not let that happen. They're going to get the rest of the scrap time. But like you said, P4 rotations is on. Kirby's in the back. He's got to take down a host of New York stuff. Or can he win these battles? No, he cannot because Killer Ghost is too. But the trade from the name is in. P4 jumps off. New York stuff are on top. In striking range of winning this game. Here comes a cruise missile from Mr. Anderson. It's probably going to land right on the head of Curbs. It does. And a team. Teammate. I mean, New York South Park can't do nothing wrong right now, Blepsy. Absolutely not. They've got bathroom control. They've got the back control as well. They have spawns for P4. They can't win it off of this, so they will need to rotate onto P5. However, if they get all this time, they'll just be needing scrap from the rest of the hill. So a great job from New York right here on a great hold on P4. Very crucial hill. Yeah, man, you should see the kill feet lighting up all yellow for New York as that's four down for New York. Now, but if you are Paris letdowns, you do got this great spawns for this next hill, but the pressure is already there. ASAP Brendan, he is here for his team. If he holds this hill here, this could be game over. And look at the kills from ASAP Brendan. Big three piece to send Paris letdowns back to their spawns. Now they got a force to try to rushing from this middle alley they finally take down brendan they are on the hill five seconds all new york sub part needed and sensei life he is on the move and that has to be play of the game i mean what a three piece and just a great job paris are still not giving up and you got to give it to them they have turned up their gunny towards the end of this map and then maybe we're just a little bit cold but Paris, i mean new york just playing perfect cause right here 
Yes, they are. And they are five seconds away from winning. But Paris let down. They're doing all they can and not give up that five seconds so easy. But three kills go in the favor. And that is game. New York subpar come out taking the opening round one hard point. 250 to 133. I mean, New York is coming out with Gunny very hot. You can see the teamwork is there. They know when to push on the offense and New York on defense. Yes, they are. You can see since they like just going to work with the with the Gunny, but Invictus gets that first blood bomb going down by curbs onto this B site. Now New York subpar down a man. I mean, no, this, yeah, they're down a man. Can they retake this bomb site? It's gonna be a tough task. You can see player eight, that's Mr. Anderson, trying to make his way through the back ASAP. Brendan just slowly taking his time because I think he hears Inviscus, who is like right here on the ledge, right in front of him. Big plays by Kelly Ghost just got taken down in that top embassy. And that was gonna be a tough task. Oh, Anderson got the boomy stick, but so does accelerate as he goes for the trade. A clean, sweet wipe by Paris let down Blubsy. And I think Paris Letdowns are saying we are ready to play now. That is exactly what you need to do from the side of Paris. Just come out, get a clean sweep, get bombed down, be in control. That's exactly how you bounce back. And they've done a great job at it. And you can see from both sides, there's a uh, Accelerate has a sniper rifle. And I believe it was Sensei with a sniper rifle on the side of New York. Nah, Anderson. Uh, it was Mr. Anderson. So it's uh, very exciting to see that matchup. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know, a good sniper battle is always very good to see. But this bomb site is making his way to B. He's got there very quick. Hell it goes. Is the bomb carrier planning the bomb now? So 4v4 Paris letdowns on the retake. The New York support didn't waste no time. Sensei lives with the nade on to accelerate to get the first blood. Gun battles going back ASAP. Brendan taking down curves. It's just player three, player four, last two players alive. It's a viscous and viscous fine killer goes. IMTGs get taken down by still like since they lives. He's by himself trying to go for the bomb site, but he does not see Mr. Anderson. New York subpar take the round back one to one. They pretty much pulled off exactly what Paris did, just going for the quick plant, getting that pick, and then just playing around the bomb, making sure to get each other's trades and just a great job from New York on that uh, offensive side. So I'd be looking at Paris to also do a quick plant just like they did previously. And I want to see how New York responds to that. Yeah, but I think you are. I think it is since they likes holding down the boom stick for the New York subpar. But here we go for the defense. Look, they're going for this B side. They're trying to get their quick accelerate takes down. Kill it goes for the first blood with the boom stick. Looks like this bomb should be going down soon, but the biscuits gets a little too aggressive. And since they likes takes him down, bomb down on this B side. New York has to retake. And Accelerate almost gets the kill on Sensei. However, Sensei is able to get away with his life. Accelerate right now just knows where they are, making sure no one's defusing the bomb side. Anderson with the sniper trade. IMTG takes out Sensei lives. Two to two on lives. It's player A, Mr. Anderson, ASAP Brendan versus IMTG and player four. There's only eight seconds left. Great way to play the time. Not enough time to stick this bomb. A I am I am ATG has you know played this round very good and new and Paris letdowns take another round to take the round to go up two to one in the search and destroy. At three offensive rounds in a row, all teams, both teams are just going for that quick plant. Accelerate with a huge snipe at the beginning of the round as well to uh, give Paris the edge and then Sensei tied it back. But Paris just playing a great job, getting bombed down, playing around it, wasting as much time as possible. And just like that, they're up two to one. And here we go, round four. New York so far with the bomb, doing what we all, we all imagined. Getting to this B site quick is the head up battle. ASAP Brandon kill feeds going back and forth. I don't know who got the first blood, but ASAP Brandon did get the last nade to give his team the two 
to one events imtg making the read on sensei but sensei is just too hot with the gunny new york subpar tied his back up two to two and that was a great read by imtg very unfortunate that they couldn't get the kill but sensei right here great job just going on the flank he probably got the call out from his teammate knowing that he's a top ac just a great job from new york on that round to tie it up two to two Man, these New York seven part and Paris let downs and this turn just are going back and forth. Which team is going to take a round, a double round back to back to give themselves a little bit of cushion? But right now, these Paris let downs getting this bomb to this B side as quick as they possibly can. Accelerate, watching mid bomb look like it should be going down soon. Is going down right now. Four to four, all the lights. Mr. Anderson with the boom. You can't even see him. Oh, he did not see. He saw his elbow just a little bit, but the gunfire was on. ASAP Brennan on the play. He gets one. Can he get two? Oh, he gets two. ASAP Brennan with New York subpar need a play. He makes the play, but the time is still running up against him. They got to find AMTG and Sensei Light to find him. Full, clean, sweet for the New York subpar. Minus Mr. Anderson. Bomb diffuse. New York subpar. Get up on the board. Three to two. And we get our first defensive round win from the side of New York. And a great play call by them having two players go on the flank, making sure to clear top office and making sure uh, to get the people on that side with the flank. I mean, just a huge play from New York right here. Be able to defuse the bomb and get that round win. With New York sub for are on are uh, are on top of this game. Top life going with Blepsy. And we are just waiting, you know, waiting for this this like Thank you. waiting for these uh these these lobbies to load. I think we may have <clears throat> we are gonna get right into the search and destroy guys. Three to two. I think Blepsy is going to come back pretty soon, but here we are We're right into this. New York subpar again are up 3-2. Just to remind you guys, colors may or your colors are switched up for you guys on the bottom. So we we, we will try to cast it to see it, but Mr. Anderson picking right back up with the boomstick right where he left off. Killer goes taking down Theory. 42 life events for this new exam part and this a plant blepsy is on we got our first a plant of the game and uh, new york right now with a two-man advantage and bomb down i mean this is your round to win sensei does get a third it's all up to curb right now to get the three piece and the diffuse yeah curb is gonna have to go big but he cannot because this is too much New York subpar around. I think New York subpar just took that round. So it's four to two for the New York subpar. And kill it goes. This started off right where he left off. Two to zero. Let and that's now that's now I think that's now three straight rounds that New York subpar is round. So Paris let downs. They're gonna have to do something to stop this bleeding. Yeah, we've got our first uh, two-round lead from the side of New York right now. And uh, the scoreboard does not reflect it, but it is 42 for the side of New York. And Paris need to bounce back and don't let New York get that fifth round. Yeah, this is a big ground for Sensei Lives. He is on the flank, accelerates down. ASAP Brandon, big name. Oh, and Vic is with the trade on the Sensei Lives. Mr. Anderson trades him out. Theory. Last man up for the New York subpar. Can he clutch this up? It's going to be a big task for him to do. Bomb is down in no man's land. And these New York subpar are on the hunting. Arrows are just moving. Now they just got themselves positioned up into the positions where they want to be to feel like they can cover uh, cover the bomb, cover the bomb very well, and you can see Theory just slowly making his way, you know, trying to get his bombs. I see if you can find a player. He may have just missed, may have just missed that player, player one who was just down below. He may have just jumped all the time and have just way worked out, but he's putting shots down on the Mr. Anderson. But Mr. Anderson with the boomstick takes him down. New York subpar match point.
And Mr. Anderson has been on fire right now. Since the reset, he's 3-0, all with a sniper rifle. I mean, great, great sniping from the side of Mr. Anderson. And it's just a great job from New York coming in from this break. And right now, they're up 5-2, to two, just one round away from making it a 2-0 lead in the series. Yeah, man. I don't know what they said to each other in the in that little in that little off time, but they all came out ready to go. They said we're gonna end it here. Fast play to B. Let's get here as quick as we can. ASAP Brandon gets the first blood. Easily trade. Trades are going back and forth, but it looks like the trade battle has been won by the Paris letdowns, and they do not let New York so far win just yet. Now it's five to three in that spot where you don't want to be, Lexi. Definitely don't want to be in that position, but five to three, we all know about the five three curse, so could be dangerous. Uh, New York are going to have to step up and make sure they don't lose this lead and they don't step off the pedal. While well, Paris, just a great round for them to bounce back. And do they need three more in order to take uh, win the six to five? So right now the round count is five to three for the side of New York. It's going to be, you know, Paris, they are in a must-win territory right now. So this offense is going to be a big one. They, you know, they decided to slow it down. They knew that player was going on a flank, being aggressive. Let's see if they can call him out. No, they cannot. ASAP Brendan is just too much to handle for these Paris letdowns. Oh, I thought he was going to do something else, but accelerate did, did, turns him down and now it's three to three bomb is down sensei light takes down theory can he take down invictus too as he's going for the fade and invictus does have to reposition because i think that gun battle he felt like he was not going to win it accelerate is here now for the defense now they're both going to try to make their way but sensei life's it's got itself into a great position to take down Accelerate. Now in Fiscus, and that is it. New York subpar. Take the search and destroy. Six to three. I mean, first of all, Sensei Life with a huge two piece at the end to win the round. No control. New York subpar will start off on the offense. The Paris letdowns on the defense aside. I am ATG. Just getting over there to this. This, this bottom um, bomb site building. And he starts off, he gets a nice kill on the Mr. Anderson after Mr. Anderson gets the first blood on to accelerate. No team is touching the hill right now. You got New York so far on this B site. Now you got one player touching this B site. Maybe you got two players, three players. They're stacking the point. Word to Jim. So Paris letdowns do not get here quick. This B site is going to be gone, bless you. And Brendan on top of that patio, making sure getting all these kills, clearing out for his team. And it's a very quick capture from the side of New York. I mean, getting the harder point that quickly. They're only up by two on the live scale, but they have a lot of time to work with right now. Two minutes in order to capture that eight point. Yeah, man, two minutes. Try to get that eight point. Look at the kills. Three, four, just lights up for New York subpar. Now they have the two stack on. A player two is putting in down shots on the player seven. Can he take him down? But as he as is right now, he's just two segments on this A side trying to get the third. There is a slight contest by Viscus and Curbs in the corner, but Killer Ghost goes for that child, takes him down. New York sub par win this opening round offense. And I think it was only like they only died like three times. That was definitely one of the quickest rounds I've seen on LCL control in the CRL. I mean, Killer Ghost going five and zero, oh, just getting all quick uh, six six on that map. I mean, what a start by New York! You, you can't play that better than that. I mean, just a great job. And Paris needs to bounce back right here to even it up. Yeah, man, they need to steal an offensive back from New York subpar. But New York subpar just did that dominant fashion. That is the confidence New York subpar needed. So Paris accelerates, starts off with the first butt again, but ASAP Brandon takes him out. Chip feed is pinstriped right now. Going back and forth with both teams getting kills on the board. 28 to 28 are the lives. Paris let down. Looks like they're trying to get closer to this A site. I am ATG. It's been 
being a little bit mixy, trying to play on their side, trying to cut them off, trying to get some kills to flow in their favor, to try to clear off some of the pressure. Let his team get to the get to the side, but ASAP Brandon is just too much. Curb with the two piece to trade that out. And right now, 40 seconks on the clock, and Paris letdowns haven't even touched the time. They finally get on ASAP. Yeah, Paris are trying to capture that A side first now. They had trouble going on to that B side, so they decided to move, which was the right decision to do. And you can see right now there's one player on the side of Paris, got that first tick on A. That's uh, what exactly what you want to do if you want to get back into this. Just get one tick at a time. Yes, yeah, so one tick is all they needed before they get cleared out. You got player seven, IMTG. He's trying, I guess he's trying to force the spines out deep spines out to that a site he did just get a kill on the killer ghost before he jumped on to that b site the clock is stopped at 30 seconds 20 to 20 are the lies for both teams so this is a mixy office as we as expected accelerate stopping the clock for Paris letdowns on that a site before he gets taken down i am atg has to sprint over to the A side to try to stop this clock. They're going for the child, but AMHEG was just on a big street for he finally gets taken down. 16 seconds on the clock. Paris let down. So they got to commit to this bomb site. And they cannot because ASAP Brandon and, say, and, and Sensei Lives are just too much for them to handle. There is just too much New York subpar pressure. Paris letdowns are up five ticks going into this defense. This, I mean, going, they're going to another offense of Blepsy. Paris letdowns. What, what are they going to do here, Blepsy, to change the momentum? I mean, right now, just winning this defensive round is important. doesn't matter how many ticks New York get. You'll need to win this defensive round, get back into it, and then you'll start thinking of that next offensive round. But it's, you got to do it one round at a time. This is do or die right here. I mean, New York are one round away from 3 0 and taking the series. So, Paris let down. You have to play as a cohesive unit. Make sure they don't let New York get that B uh, point very quick. And it seems like New York are tending to go towards that A point this time around instead of B. Yeah, they probably thought they got it so quick last time that we were just going to go to A this time. But the kill feed lights up for the Paris letdowns as they get three kill feeds. Sending New York back. Sensei, he's the last man now waiting for his team to spawn up. AMT, AMTG was trying to pick up where he left off, but he gets instantly taken down. Three kills in the favor for New York. They have the stack. Word to gems on this B site. Now the pressure from Paris letdowns. Try to get these players off this B site as quickly as possible. Because it is looking like deja vu for Matt 1, Blepsy. Definitely starting to see a common theme. You see New York get the wipe and then you have three players on it. One player watching over them. And they get that B site very quickly. Cruise missile coming down from ASAP Brandon. He does get a pick, and right now they're moving on to A. They want to get that first round of wipes before they hop on it. ASAP Brandon Ooh. with another kill. ASAP Brandon is just getting I like every big kill you need, he's going to get it. And that is what you like to see if you are a New York subpart fan. Curb is trying to get Ace trying to get these players off the hill, but they cannot. Two stack for the New York subpar. The pairs let down. This is their last hope to get it. Sensei lives with the cruise missiles of his own in curb. Curb is just a cruise missile magnet right now as he just took two back to back cruise missiles. There's only a, a half a segment left for the New York subpar. Player 7 is doing a great job of contesting as much as he can to try to get these players off the hill. Did he do it just a good enough time? Let his teammates get there. He did. I am ATG is making the place for Paris letdowns. He's trying to make, he's trying to, he's saying, guys, we cannot go out like this. There's a minute and 15 seconds to go on the clock. 16 to 13 and a double with the cruise missile from ASAP Brandon. Like I said earlier, everything that New York Star Park needs to go right is going right here, Blepsy. I mean, Brandon, going 22 and 6. You can't do better than that. 22 and 6. He's carrying his team right here. And his team is doing a very good job. It's just ASAP Brandon right now firing on another level. Finishes it with 24 and 6. 3 0 on that control. 3-0 on the series, and New York go 2-2 two two on the season right now.
Yeah, man. I mean, this was in, 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 in a statement two and two victory right here. They put on a great performance.